So I'm gonna tell her again, Ru sit, good job. Let me give it a treat, Ru stand, excellent. But again, you can see how much she's challenged with these, this particular setup in order to do what I'm asking her to do as well as maintain her balance. So we're gonna do a little bit of generalizing now. I'm gonna move to a different position and tell her to sit. She's got this, I'm looking at her, she's looking at me, I'm standing in front of her, and it's very easy for her to do. So I'm gonna move to the side. So I'm gonna face a different direction. Let's say we're walking down the street. Let's say we're walking down the street and we come to the uh, corner and we're waiting at a light and I want her to stop. So that's what we're gonna do. Ruth, sit. Good girl. So some of the things that change some of the things that change in that scenario, Ruth Stand, is the fact that she's looking at me. When she's looking this way, her weight is different. She's looking up like this, it means her weight is shifting towards her left butt cheek. And so that's gonna change how she's gonna sit. Now I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try to get all the way, I'm gonna try to get all the way behind her before I tell her to sit. Let's see what she does. Most dogs, Ruth Stand, stand. So what's happening is the donuts are starting to separate so she's having trouble. So I'm gonna just shift these back, like so. Um, so I'm gonna to try to stand behind her. Most dogs don't like that. So when you go to stand behind them, they're gonna turn, they're gonna do all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna see what she does in that scenario. So I walk behind her, and then I'm gonna tell her, Ruth, sit. Good girl, that was excellent.